guys and welcome back to part three of the order block strategy now so far you've been able to identify order blocks and you've been able to learn how to refine them so at this point you're probably thinking what are the footprints are there and how else what are the confluences do we have this is going to be a very short video because there isn't a lot to it what we're going to talk about today is in this video is imbalance so as we know, in terms of the market to run, there needs to be 50% buying, which I'll write it here actually. There needs to be 50% buying, and there needs to be 50% selling. Why is that important? It's because when you get places where, for example, when you get huge impulses, what do you see? There is only buying only buying only buying only buying only buying the markets don't run like that so what does that mean price needs to come and correct this imbalance okay this is known as imbalance or inefficiency right it's as simple as that so essentially it is the gap in the market so the imbalance is for example before when you get an ob what you find you'll probably have a gap right which we can see oh come on which we can see is here now there is imbalance here because there is pure buying and the reason why i marked this box here is because although although that's a uh, bearish candle right we can see this wick right so obviously there were sellers involved at that point the wick that came here there was buyers involved at this point right because the sellers and then buyers that pushed price to go back up in this point it's just that blue candle right this is all buyers so this there's imbalance that's sitting within here so th what this does is we don't we're not going to trade directly off it but this gives you more confluence that this ob had institutions active and what that means is it basically means that this move right we know that institutions have caused that because of this imbalance retail traders do not cause an imbalance like this the imbalance can be less than a pip it's still imbalance so price has to come and um, come and correct this imbalance so it gives us more reason to pick this ob as our selected ob so when you hear us say you want to look for a clear ob you want to find an order block that doesn't have that you want to find an order block that has clear imbalance sitting above it simple simple as that there's nothing more to it right same with a bearish move so in terms of that that is why so what we can see is when we pick this order block here right sorry so when we pick this order block for example here we refine it to the next candle right the main reason why we do that is because that is the candle before the impulse, right? And it also is the net is the candle with the imbalance. Because if you think about it from where the wick is, the imbalance is between uh, that wick and this wick here. This pure sellers price needs to come and correct that imbalance at some point. It doesn't need to happen immediately, but it needs to happen at some point. The only time that we need to really think about the imbalance, right? is if it has an OB next to it. So for example, up here, what we can see is we created this low and then we went and broke structure. So the order block is this candle here. We're gonna refine that to the next candle that is sitting here, right? And what we can see is this wick is taken over from the previous wick, so that wick on its own is an order block, right? So we know there's an order block sitting at that wick at either the base or the 50% mark. Where does price react? It almost reacts and mitigates the, the, the base of this wick, right? But look where, look where it actually reacts to. So it's clearing the imbalance that is, because this is pure selling going on here. There's pure selling after this candle, right, to this wick, because there's buyers within that wick, right? So that's the imbalance. So price has come through come to correct that imbalance right and then continued where it's going to go 
We are going to use the imbalance for trading directly. However, it is to give us more confidence that the order block is correct and the institutions were active at that point. This is also a good point to say is I haven't refined this order block, right? We're still in the four hour. But as you can see is we've gone from this order block to this wick, right? In terms of refinement, when you refine, sometimes you can over refine and you may miss trades because of that. But we'll talk about that later on when we actually when we actually talk about taking entries. But in terms of imbalance, that is literally it. The imbalance are the gaps that are being left behind by institutions. And the reason that we're using that is because it basically is another footprint that institutions were active. And we only need to see that by our OBs. We don't it doesn't matter where else it is. Um, as such, we only want to find it next to our order blocks because that gives us more confidence behind the order block. So this order block here with this imbalance that's sitting above, okay, we've got more confidence to use this as our main OB where we're going to be looking to trade from. So in this video, I hope that's made it clear in terms of what an imbalance actually is.